No man is an island, wrote the 17th century English poet John Donne. Today, that philosophy lives on in the residents of Deer Isle, Maine, who embody just such a sense of community, whether born and raised here or drawn to the island by its stunning beauty. Deer Isle is home to an entrepreneurial, creative economy of fishermen, farmers, and artisans who share a strong sense of interconnectedness. If you take a drive down a pine-scented road five miles outside of Stonington, you'll find these synergies converge at restaurant and lodge Aragosta at Goose Cove, opened in 2019 by chef Devin Finnegan. Um, I grew up in the mountains of Vermont. I grew up on skis. My dad was a chef, uh, so out of my sisters, I, I cooked with my dad in the restaurant. Um, I came to end up on the island. One of my sisters went to Haystack one summer, and I came along for the ride and met my future husband then, went to school and kept coming back. And, uh, you know, I, I think I've lived here now 16 years. Um, and uh, Luke grew up here, so his family, uh, Judd Hartman, he has a gallery in Blue Hill, he's a sculptor, Luke's a jeweler as well as a lobsterman, and uh, growing up in Vermont, there was rivers, but now with the ocean, it gets in your blood, and I can never live away from the salt water now. My philosophy on cooking is I want to make everything. We make butter, we make bread, we mill our own wheat berries for the pasta, we um, harvest our own lobsters from my husband's lobster traps. Um, and my philosophy is I just want food to taste good and I want it to be in season. And I want to support my local purveyors, my farmers, my fishermen, um, and also forage. We have this property where we have wild peas right now on the beach that we're harvesting for our pea dish. We have roses that we can turn into simple syrups or cellos. Um, we have certain types of moss in the woods that we can fry and eat. Um, so it's really, it's just um, all about being creative and what's in season and how we can highlight those ingredients and not, not mask them. We want to highlight them. Living on the island, we are so fortunate. Um, it's a fishing town. So we have fishermen that go right out of port and you can meet them on the dock. You can buy halibut off them in the halibut season in the spring. You can buy lobsters, as well as we have one of the most famous farmers for organic farming on our peninsula, Elliot Coleman. He's a huge supporter, him and Barbara. My signature dish is, the, it started as a lobster ravioli. And, and Aragosta means lobster in a town. And being in a fishing town in Stonington and Deer Isle, I thought what better word, Aragosta, than to name my restaurant lobster. So the lobster ravioli was born. And I played with the pasta shape. Right now we're doing the lobster cassoncelli, same filling. Um, so that really highlights we always will have lobster on the menu. One ingredient uh, that is really exciting for me is the Deer Isle scallop and our scallop farm, uh, Marsden uh, and Bobby Brewer. It's literally out by Mark Island. It's, it's, we can see it from the dining room when there's not fog. Um, and we get fresh uh, cultivated scallops each week. And they're, uh, it's, it's amazing to be able to get live scallops, to shuck them. We have the shells, we use the shells. Um, and to highlight a, an ingredient that's so, so dear to the island and so close is special as well as uh, Long Cove oysters. Um, so to highlight the Deer Isle oyster, the Deer Isle scallop, the Stonington lobster um, is, is really special. When we bought the property, it was a huge renovation and it was so fun for me to have the community a part of that renovation. Howard Chittenden of Blue Hill, he built me a communal table, 16 foot piece of ash from Augusta, Maine, and with walnut bow ties. Uh, Farrell Rupert, he built, uh, he's a blacksmith. He did the blacksmith, the brackets that hold my two signs, as well as the foot rail for my bar, um, as well as handles for the door. Um, Aaron Bolger, Larkin Bolger, Bruce Bolger, the Bolger family, amazing, talented, talented woodworkers, um, built wine doors, uh, table uh, settings for my uh, bathrooms, um, special boxes, uh, and then Missy Green, Missy built all my dishware. So the amazing plates are pieces of true art. And it was so great to meet with Missy. We talked blazes, we talked uh, the shape, 
And it, for February in Maine to be able to employ all these local people, it means a lot. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to them, and it meant a lot to the community. All the, my wood on all this renovation is from the Barter Lumber, local derail company, uh, the electricians, local, the plumbers, local. I could have outsourced maybe to a Bangor or something, but I wanted to stay on the island. I wanted to stay on the peninsula. We are just so fortunate to live where we have, I can call Missy who lives in Deer Isle and say, Missy, I need some Chev. And she's literally just ha ha made this Chev from her goats for, uh, I need, uh, Elliot, I need squash blossoms and he'll harvest them. And, or my friend Abby, who has her oysters on Lock Cove in Deer Isle. We, I can't emphasize how lucky we are to have the community we live in is artists, it's farmers, it's fishermen, it's, it's, uh, it's a special way of life.